Where it's coming on. I'm not gonna hold y'all long. Just wanna tell you about um, what I seen the other night. A first worship with me a little bit. Don't y'all know that God is calling us on our knees? A lot of things we would not understand, see, um, or, or know about until we fall on our knees and humble ourselves before Christ. See, things better when we humble ourselves. You'll worship one minute for me. Okay, I'm um, not going to hold you long. Welcome. Thank you for joining me. I am on here. I just wanted to tell you about something that I um, seen in a vision the other night when I got off my live. I was supposed to have came on yesterday and did it, but I kind of got tied up. Um, but after I got off my life, um, I tried to go to sleep. And as uh, I said, about 30 minutes to an hour after I laid down, I began to hear what sounded like the wind was just uh, roaring. And it was like um, almost like how the wind sounds when there's a bad storm or, or a tornado and how it's whistling. And, and it kept getting louder and louder. Um, and I tried to ignore it. I tried to go back to sleep. But it kept getting louder. And it kept um, seeming like it was getting closer to me. And it was very loud in my ear um, to the point where it had me to hop up out of my bed thinking that maybe it was a tornado coming or a storm coming that um that I was not aware of and I wanted to make sure that I got my kids to safety and things like that. Well when I got up and I ran to the window to my surprise it was very quiet and still outside and I didn't hear the wind anymore. So I knew that there was God speaking to me in my spirit. Um, before I laid back down and went back to, um, before I left the window and went and laid back down, I seen the red lights and I seen um, a fire truck pass me, but it was so quiet. And as I was walking back to the bed, I heard the Lord say emergency, um, emergency, like almost he was saying that the fire truck was represent emergency um, and the red lights. So as I lay down and I closed my eyes trying to meditate on the things that I heard and seen. 
I seen someone appear to me with um, um, these glowing, these bright, glowing, beautiful eyes. Oh my gosh, this person was just so gorgeous and the eyes was so bright, it almost lit up their entire face and took over. And um, as I was uh, looking at them and trying to figure out who it was, um, I heard Gabriel. I heard him say, I am Gabriel. And um, not going to lie, I was so uh, mesmerized about who it was. I was like, oh my gosh, the Archangel. The Archangel uh, Gabriel, the, the messenger angel, and then it, it, it had to stare at me, wait a minute, this is the messenger angel. So I had to pay close attention to what it was God was trying to tell me. Hi sis, hi Lydia. Um, if you're just coming on, I was just um, telling about what I seen in a vision and what I heard the other night when I got off my life. Um, to recap, I um, when I got off my life, I tried to lay down, and about an hour or so after um, I got um, laid down, I heard the sound of the wind it sounded very, like it was uh, whistling and it felt, sounded very loud and it was it sounded like it was getting very close to me and it scared me so bad I hopped up thinking it was a tornado or a bad storm coming and when I ran to the window to my surprise it was um, very quiet very uh, calm outside and it was no rain no no wind I couldn't hear the wind anymore and so from that point um I seen the fire truck pass me and it was quiet and the streets was just so still. Nobody was out there. And I seen the red lights flashing uh, really close to my eyes, even through the window. And as I was walking back to bed, I heard emergency. So when I lay back down, I seen this angel appear to me with these bright glowing eyes and the eyes were just so beautiful. And the angel itself was just so, you know, um, unique. And I heard him say, I am Gabriel. And I was just like, oh my gosh, Gabriel, the archangel, the messaging, messenger angel, and things like this. So as I was trying to meditate on the things of God to see what he was trying to show me or tell me, I heard the word emergency again. And he said, tell my people it is an emergency. It is an emergency for what is coming. They need to be warned. They need to be repentant. It is an emergency. And as I continued to hear the word emergency, um, I heard the wind again. And it was this time it wasn't that loud. But it was almost like God saying it's going to be like a, a, a rushing wind. It's going to be like a storm coming through and and he was like it's an emergency it's going to be an emergency and i need my people to repent i need my people to turn their hearts back up to me you know so um I came on here to to just plead with you guys, please. I, I've been hearing it for a while. I've been seeing it. I've been hearing other people talk about it, you know, what they've been seeing and the warnings God giving them to just please repent. Turn your turn from your wicked ways. Turn back into God. Give him your heart. If you don't know who Christ is, um, come to me. I will, I will tell you who Christ is. If you want to give your heart over to Christ, if you want to give your life over to Christ, I will help you do that. But I'm begging for my people, for God's people, for my, my brothers and my sisters to turn your turn turn back to God. God is furious. He is furious. I, and I, I said over and over again, I see people saying, oh, it's going to be okay. It's, it's no big deal. It, yes, it is a big deal. It's not going to be okay. It, it's, it's a very big deal. It's not over with yet. Like I said before and I said again, it was like a test run, what we just went through. And none of us was prepared. It, uh, things only got worse from that point on. Things only got worse with the body of Christ, with other people. I see so many debating over Facebook and, and in person. I see so many people uh, uh, turning away from God. And I'm like, how can you turn away from, from someone that you experienced in your life? How can you say there's no God now when you, when you experienced him, when you felt his love, when you seen him save you from things that nobody else could have saved you from? How can you say that? People are being deceived. You people are releasing these different principalities over the nations. It's too much going on, and y'all think it's going to just end? No, it's not. It's only going to get worse. The nation needs to, to repent. We need to repent. We, I'm going to say we because I need to repent too. I am no exempt from anything. 
So I just wanted to come on here and tell y'all that even after I released that word the other night, I, I, God was not finished talking to me yet. He, he still got some things in store and he want us to be prepared better than what we were before. He want our hearts right. He want us in line with him. He want us in tune with the Holy Ghost Spirit. If you have not been filled, uh, I pray that you, that God do fill you with the Holy Ghost and that you, you know, you, you come back unto him and you be turned to a new creature, that you renew your mindset that you revive your mindset, that you revive who you are in Christ. Hi, sis. How you doing? So, yes, I, I just had to release that. I couldn't allow it to, to stay in my head. I had to get it out. When I seen that Gabriel came to me, if Gabriel came to me, guys, yes, we like to talk about the archangels and, and what they do and how great they are, but we need to think about which ones that we are, that are visiting us. Yes, having an angel around us, visiting us is great, but we got to think about their position in the kingdom. And Gabriel is a messenger angel, meaning that God is trying to get a message across to his people before it's too late. He's sending his warning out. He's sending his prophets out. People need to take heed to the warnings. I heard the rushing wind. I heard the sound. I'm telling you, it sounded so loud in my ear. I was half asleep. And it sounded so loud in my ear to where my heart dropped. And I jumped up out of the bed and I ran. Like, oh my gosh, a tornado is coming. I thought a tornado was coming. Because of how loud the wind sounded, I thought it was storming outside. So I rushed up out the bed. And that's another way God's showing us that we are not prepared. That's another way of showing us. I was laying there thinking to myself, did I miss the news? Did I miss what they said about the weather? Is there a tornado coming? Is there a storm coming? I was scared when I heard that I had to get up and I had to take off, thinking that a storm was coming, trying to get to my children, only to find out it was quiet and it was still outside. But guess what? It was a storm coming. It may have not have been in the natural, but it was in the spirit that the storm was coming. God is saying, I am showing you right now that the storm is coming. Be prepared. Be prepared. Like I said the other night, no time for being slumbered. Be prepared. Imagine if there was a tornado coming, and here I am at the last minute trying to get up. Ain't no telling what would have happened. I was not prepared. And that was God's way of showing me that his children is not prepared for the storm that's coming in the spirit. His children is still not prepared. They're still doing things the wrong way. They still don't want to repent for their sins. They still don't want to turn from their wicked ways. Instead, it's getting worse. It's getting worse. I heard the word emergency. I thought I seen a truck come to find out. I didn't see no truck. That was just a, a that fire truck was something that God was showing me in my spirit. Telling me emergency. I seen the red lights flashing. I seen Gabriel come to me. Speaking to me. I apologize, guys, if y'all hear anything. It's my kids in the background playing. But yes. Yes. That's true. That's true. God's wrath is coming, and I'm pleading with my sisters and brothers in Christ to get it together, to get it together. We can get it together at the same time. I can help you. You can help me. Let's, let's lift each other up. Let's, let's, let's exhort each other. So, yes, um, I'm telling you, I, I still have the prayer call. For anybody that's in the, uh, Central Time, it will be at 4 o'clock, which is uh, going to be in about an hour or so. If you're in Pacific Time, it's going to be at 2 o'clock, and Eastern Time is at 5 o'clock. If you are able to, please join me. I will talk more on this. I will speak more on this, but I love you guys, and I pray that you'll be blessed. Anybody that's coming on late, I pray that you um, go back and watch this from the beginning. I have to get ready for the prayer call, but I love you guys, and I say, please repent and turn from your wicked ways love you thank you in jesus name for being on here